Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. This is Joan and today I'm going to show you how to uh, how to connect your uh, your uh, access Microsoft Access and uh, Microsoft Excel to uh, to the what's that now SQL Anywhere. And right now, as you can see here in the windows, we have SQL Central. That's SQL Central. And now we're going to connect this one first. We need to set up this one. This is our uh, so what you're gonna do is right click this one connect so um, the the password this is a standard password that's uh, dba sq the password uh, the user id is dba and the uh, password the sql this is standard so what we're gonna do uh, there's an example here i mean there's a sample uh, uh, there's a sample sql anywhere right actions the action that you're going to do is you need to connect with an odbc data source so our uh, data source is the cost db this is from the example from the uh, sql anywhere and then uh, like that so choose that one sql net cost db then you need to connect boom you're already connected right so now we have a table here everything we have a customer table and everything so the next question here is how you gonna connect that one in uh, how you gonna connect that one in uh, Microsoft Access or Microsoft Excel so very simple so what you're gonna do is go to external data then new data source then from there is you're going to uh, from other sources ODBC database now there's a two option here the first option is import the source data into a new table in the current database or just a link because if you're in the server you want to connect to your uh, I choose this one link to the data source by creating a link table then okay then here as you can see you don't need to uh, um, most of the time I end up uh, when I figuring out how I connect this one so you don't need to uh, create a DNS because this is already connect it's already uh, 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 set up here in uh, SQL Central so what you're gonna do is go to machine data source then from there and then you can connect here uh, yeah, this one this is the one we uh, set up that one here look at this one SQL anywhere cost DB the ultralight let's go back how do you know that the one I can let's go back here yeah this one here look as you can see cost db it's running uh this one no 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 the connection yeah i think that's the only information oh here we go is this the only information that we uh, ah this one so right now we have a db user skill center so here yeah here this is the one Cost DB, DBA. This is our name of the the data source, data source name. So that's the one. SQL Anywhere seventeen. Cost DB. Then just okay. Then as you can see here, it will in inside the Microsoft Access. It will ask you a uh, password. The password is SQL only. Then the name, server name. This is the server name, isn't it? As you can see here. Cost DB. That's the server name here. Cost DB. Then that's automatic server name. Cost DB. Uh, and then that's okay. And here we go. It's already connected. If you want to link all those, uh, you don't need that one. I think this select. I think let's try. It. Let's pull this one. Uh, customer. Then okay. Here we go. It's already full, right? It's already connected. Here we go. It's already connected. Same thing. The procedure in uh, a Microsoft Access, uh, Microsoft Excel. Get a new one, and then uh, I think the data. Get a new one. Other source from ODBC here. From ODBC, and then here it's gonna be easy because pro Excel, it will choose you uh, this one. This is the one we. Uh, this is the one we uh, uh, this is the uh, 
server that need to connect from SQL anywhere and then okay and then uh, the password is uh, the, the standard this is the standard password a uh, username DBA SQL and connect right that's the standard then from there navigator DBA this is the name of DBA is the name of then what we're gonna do is we're going let's let's try this one we're going to try to connect that one to in uh in uh what's that um w also and then load or transfer it's already loaded as you can see right so let's try in w all right all right so where's my i have a lot of sorry for that where's my w here um <laughs> Oh my gosh, where's my at here we go? So well, okay. How about in W? How are we gonna connect that one? So here go here in uh, uh, sorry uh to a server more excuse me and then you're going to uh all the other ODBC here as you can other ODBC data source and the DSN is already there, uh, SQL, right? SQL anywhere 17. And then let's connect, that's already connected. Then it will pop up what is the standard. Uh, the standard is SQL, the password, and you don't need to do anything. Then it's already connected. And then I think, yeah. Uh, signing, we'll try to sign up. All right, here we go now as you can see it's already connected here here in the data for and then i think we need to search dba we need to search the dba because dba is the name of the um, contain i think dba start with schema no no not here we need schema but here in schema we need to search yeah here in schema we need to look then from here i think we have uh, uh, yeah here we go customer then we can pull that one here it's already pull then update it's already pull here same thing so the same thing idea how you're going to connect this in w microsoft excel maybe power bi uh, do i have a power bi power bi yeah i think i have a power bi let's try to connect here in power bi too so uh, let's uh okay here we go power bi desktop mm -hmm. yeah i have a power bi let's try i didn't try this one so import data from the sql server uh i don't know how oh here we go that's same thing same thing in uh, power bi i think let's go to the more where's the more get data from ah here we go uh, database uh, wait, wait 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 i'm just i didn't i didn't try this one yet so let's try this one with together okay hold on for a second let's try it cancel let's cancel this uh modeling no no not a modeling insert data oh here i think uh, data hub no 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 not this one sql server server name oh, no, i don't know let's do that bands no not this one where is that thing power bi data source sql server i think this one here uh import data from audit no not this one no i think we can connect more looking for more another source uh odbc ah this one i think let's try this one let's connect this one using the odbc yeah this is the one from odbc search odbc then just uh cost tv then okay same thing the password and dba this is standard sql password is the password then connect 
it's already connected same thing so we can use this one here boom click that one and load yeah simple as that and I think that's already connected but I'm not yet uh, uh, here we go here we go yeah that's the data all right I think uh, hope it will it helps you how to connect that one now you can connect to Microsoft Access uh, Microsoft Excel and Tableau all right once again uh, this is Joan and thank you for watching and bye for now